Hi, Danica Watson, nurse practitioner, coming to you today to discuss block tear ducts. Disclaimer, this is not medical advice, recommendations, or a diagnosis. This does not take the place of a well child check or sick visit. If you have any questions, please see your healthcare provider or your pediatrician. Block tear ducts are fairly common and they're exactly what it sounds like. It is your baby's um, tear duct that becomes blocked with like a flap of skin. Um, typically this, you will notice this um, a few days after birth. Uh, the baby's eyes will be super watery and crusty every time you wake them. Not to worry, this typically resolves on its own. Um, it is a little bit of a nuisance when you're waking your baby and you're having to clean their eye with every feeding, but other than that, it should resolve on its own. Some things that you can do though um, with a clean uh, cloth or cotton swab, you can gently rub the inside of the baby's eye and just milk it around several times before you're feeding. Do that with every feeding and hopefully you will break the, um, the skin flap there that, that's covering the tear duct and things will start to uh, work normally. Uh, and then, however, we as pediatricians, we follow this until about nine months before we actually intervene. So it's a fairly common thing. You'll notice the crusting on the baby's eyes. It can be one, it can be both. Um, and then you just want to gently milk the inside of their eye um, and keep that eye as clean as possible. However, what something I do wanna caution you on is when you first notice this, you do wanna have your pediatrician look at it. You wanna make sure that this is exactly what's going on with your baby when you do notice this um, and make sure that there's no infection or nothing else going on. There are some other things that can happen um, and some other types of infection that can can cause discharge and can cause crusting of the eyes. So when you first notice it, don't be alarmed, but I would suggest getting looked at by your pediatrician first and then knowing that more than likely it is a blocked tear duct and it will resolve on its own with just those simple interventions. I hope this helps. I hope this eases your mind. Y'all have a great day.